you can analyze data in a data set to ensure that it meets specific test case requirements. If the test data does not meet requirements, you can update the data across cells to meet your test case requirements. In this demo, we will analyze the data in the loyalty test data dataset and update data based on our test case requirement. To do this, we will first create a data coverage task and add to it the columns that we want to analyze. Complete the following prerequisite tasks before you begin the tasks in this demo. Log into Test Data Manager, create a project, import the source metadata from which you want to create the test data, create the TDM objects that you want to use to create the test data, create and run a plan to create the test data in the Test Data Warehouse. To begin, open the Datasets view. Click the Loyalty Test Data dataset to open the dataset page. Click Data Coverage to open the Data Coverage tab. Click the Create button on the right-hand corner to create a new data coverage task. You can also click New from the Actions menu. Enter a name and optional description. Enter the minimum threshold value. The minimum threshold value indicates the minimum number of values you require to consider the data density adequate. In this demo, we require at least one record in the fields we analyze. Enter the value 1 and then click Next. Click Select to choose the master table. In this demo, we choose the Orders 11 table as the master table. Select the table and click OK. Select the master table and click the Add Tables button to add related tables. A list of tables directly related to the master table appears. Select the tables that you want to add to the data analysis. In this demo, we select all related tables. You can edit the LIS name if needed. Click Finish to create the data coverage task. The task opens in a new page. Now that we have selected the tables, we need to create columns to use in the analysis. Click Add to add a column. Select the table that contains the column and then select the column that you want to use in the analysis. In this demo, we use the order ID column from the orders 11 table. Enter an alias name. The alias name displays on the analysis page. A preview of the data appears in the data preview tab. You can choose how you want to analyze the data in the column. You can use the data as is, in ranges of data, or by mapping the data to values that you create in the task. In this demo, we analyze the order ID data as is. Select Use as is. Click OK to create the column. Click Add to add another column. In this demo, we compare data for order IDs against the date distribution through the month. So we create another column and use the date data in ranges. Select the Invoice 11 table and Invoice Date column and add an alias Monthly Distribution. Choose Ranges. Based on our data in this demo, we enter the start value for the first range as Jan 1, 2003 and the end value as Jan 10, 2003. Enter a label to identify the range. Enter range 1. Click Add to create another range, Jan 11 to Jan 20. Add a label, range 2. Create a third range, Jan 21st to 31st and label it range 3. Note that the start value must be less than the end value and there must be no overlap of values across ranges. Click OK to create the column. The analysis page opens. The data count indicates the minimum threshold you set when you created the task. You can edit the minimum and maximum values if needed. Click the Settings button to view and edit if needed. Select the Monthly Distribution column and click and drag it onto the x-axis. You can also use the Edit Settings button. Add the Orders column to the y-axis. Click Analyze to analyze the density of orders data for different date ranges in the month. The results of the analysis appear on the graph. We see that there are no records for the third date range of January. For our test case, we require data for all ranges in the month. We see the same results when we view the data in the dataset from the View Data panel on the Tables tab. To move data into this range, Right-click the cell and click Fill. Checkboxes appear in the other cells. We have more data than we require in the first and second ranges. 
Select cells in other ranges that have excess data. Enter the number of records that you want to move from each cell to the selected cell. In this demo, we move one record from each of two cells. Click Fill to move the data. The data moves to the required cell. You can verify that the data has been updated in the data set. Filter and view the data from the data set tab. Open the data set and click Tables and View Data. You can browse or run a query to view the required data. You can repeat the steps to move data to all required cells. You can choose to filter and view results based on your requirements. You can create more columns and analyze more data in the data set if required. You can now reset the updated test data to a test environment. The test environment will then have data required to run the test case. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created a data coverage task to analyze the data in a data set. We then updated the data according to our test case requirement. We also verified the data changes in the data set.